Hello guys, this is your girl Sela and this is Sela on the real. You know what time is it? I'm going to give it to you a hundred. But before I get into today's video, please, if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel, like, share, and also leave your comments. Please click on the notification bell so whenever I post a video, you get notification and watch. Okay, today's video is sponsored by J Yox. Um, J Yox is an online boutique that you can get all sorts of designer words, talk of Gucci, Versace, Armani, whatever. They also have designer perfumes. And the ladies, you can get designer um, sneakers from J Yox. You can contact them through all social media networks. They are on Instagram, they are on Facebook, Twitter, um, whatever. Uh, you can also call them and they will deliver whatever it is that you're buying wherever you are in ghana they do delivery you can contact them on 0243 51 73 45 0243 51 73 45 just call them and they'll give you good stuff okay so let's get into today's opinion i'm going to give it to you <laughs> just joking so um recently the black we all know deep black. Oh, Vera, if you will really do me like that, you know, <laughs> you know, you know this song. We all love this song. So he has released a new album, and then it was, you know, when you they release songs, they have to do promotion and all that. So deep black was asked if he would ever date a slave queen or a slave girl, and he was like, no, 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 no. No to the no. <laughs> He's never going to marry a slave girl. So when I read this article, I was kind of um, angry a little bit. But also, I was understanding where he was coming from. Uh, but then, my question is, if somebody is a slave queen, what does that mean? For my understanding, these people that we say they are slave queens or slave girls, is how they are dressing they are girls that love to dress in like look good you understand they want to always look good dress and look good some dress decently and then some you see them and you're like you understand but i understand where the black is coming from because of late these slave queens or slave girls some of them i will not say all of them some of them don't like to work they, they they want to depend on men for everything traveling to dubai going to do sort of things that um them. but what i don't agree with is like they are not white material you understand um if somebody dresses or if somebody is a slave queen, it doesn't mean the white the person is not a white material no because these girls some of them are professional workers they are professional workers like daughters, nurses, and all those. But then they dressing after work. If they, they, they are nurses or doctors, it doesn't mean after work they have to put on their uniform. They have to dress and look good. Some of, some of these get, love to look good. If the person has tattoo and you see her and you judge her because the person has tattoo or because the person has piercing and all that, then I will say Deep Black is being wrong. This is my opinion. He's been wrong because there might be a lady who has a tattoo, piercing and all that, but might be a professional uh, worker like doctor or nurse or a lawyer, you understand? The tattoo has seen, doesn't have to define who the person is. You know, growing up, um, they'll be like, oh, man, call baby, uh, did I, like stay in the house, do that, do that. Those are in the days. Yeah, we learn, you ha as a woman, you have to learn how to cook, how to keep your house and all that. We are in the modern days, but then you have to know this is a this is our roles you understand no matter how professional you get in the near future but then if that person has all these abilities it doesn't mean that person doesn't have to dress you have to dress you have to look good you understand you have to look good you, you don't have to dress anyhow even i'm a lawyer does it mean a lawyer doesn't have to like somebody like um sandra Kobia. sandra Kobia, i admire that lady a lot because yeah she's a lawyer but yeah she slays talk of dressing she she's slaying like she's giving she's stepping on people's neck with dressing you understand but that doesn't mean sandra is not a wife material sometimes i think that some of the guys are afraid approach to to approach these ladies because of the standards that these uh, ladies are on right now because if sandra is a, a lawyer 
<laughs> you don't expect Sandra to marry a trotter. She is that one is love. We cannot say she can meet a trotter driver and be like, I'm in love with the person. You just have to take the person and polish it. If somebody is a slave queen and you want to marry, you can take the person and advise the person. If the person is doing one or two things that you don't like, it depends on how your heart is beating for this person. You understand? There are some girls that are in the churches Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, cleaning the churches and all that. But my sir. If you go behind closed doors, the things that they do, you even it will baffles you. You will clap for the slave queens, and then you it so slave queen doesn't have to define who the, if the person is a wife material because the church girl that maybe you think that she, because she's in church, she's a wife material. <laughs> maybe at night, do you know where she goes? Let's be let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. You know, there will be like maybe two sisters are living in the house, and then one will be a slave queen, one will be the church girl, and then they will be in the in the church, and then they they always oh you you're always going out, you you're always doing this, and then the person that has always been going out will end up maybe getting a good man to marry, and the one who has been staying in the house, being a church girl, being oh ready everything that the sister does or anybody that is a sin, you see that person pregnant without even a, a father for the child. You understand? So somebody's appearance doesn't have to. Sometimes, I'm not saying all the time. Let's say if you are going to uh, keep it real and put it on a scale of 100%. Let's say sometimes, let's say um, 60, 40. Their character or how they, they dress doesn't have to define what they will be. You understand? If somebody loves to drive, dress or put on good good stuff, that it doesn't have to describe whether the person is a good material for a, for a wife or not. So I disagree with um, D Black. If you if you not marry a slave queen or a slave girl, then I think it's about time that you find the church girls or the decent ones, the decent ones in court. Since if they dress and look good, they are not decent. Then you should find the decent ones and shoot your videos with them. And should you, we shouldn't judge people based on the way they dress. You somebody you see a rich smoker and somebody will be like, oh, this is a rich smoker, he's not good. Oh, don't marry him, don't do that. And then you go and then uh, you meet somebody who is in church and all that time. And at the end of the day, you'll be a punching bar or better still, you'll be a thief or somebody just pretending to be a church member or let's say an elder or something like that. You understand? So when we are talking about all these issues, we shouldn't judge people. Even God loves <laughs> God loves prostitutes, you understand? God loves sinners. Not only prostitutes, God loves everybody. Thieves, whatever, I'm robbers, God loves all of that. So you can change if you want the person. It depends on how your heart is beating for the person. If you want the person to change, if you want you really love the, this person and you want to make love with this person, you don't have to be like, oh, she's a slave queen. Maybe this slave queen will come into your life and will help you to manage your money or your uh, 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 properties, then you improve and you can go and marry somebody who is not a slave queen and you might have something little built going up and that person will bring you down. You understand? That person will bring you down. So slave queen doesn't define the person's character, whether the person is good for marriage or not. Dressing, girl, everybody like. Then we should say that we will not marry the Akata because you did black with your Akata, let's say. You are a kata guy. Then we say the girls too will not. The decent one will also not marry a, a, a kata. <laughs> the yo yo guys will also not marry them. But then, is like I said, it depends on how your heart beats for the person. The heart chooses, not you. Okay, thank you. This is my opinion. So if you have any other opinion, you have any say on what I'm saying. If you don't agree with me, please leave your comments down below. No insults. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, you can say whatever you want. I'm ready to take it. You understand? So, this is your girl, Sla, and I'll see you sometime, some other time. I don't know when I'm coming back, but then whenever something pops out, I'll come and share with you. So, thank you for staying with me. Bye-bye.